Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is quite different from my usual content as I'm doing a 3D model. I'm using Sculptress because it's free and it's very easy to use. If you followed me on DeviantArt back in about 2013-2014ish, I used to do a lot of 3D modelling and you might have seen some of those models. <laughs> they, um, they weren't very good, but... In my defense, I was using Google SketchUp, and Google SketchUp is for more architecture thingies rather than organic shapes. So I was trying my best, but honestly, the models were horrendously ugly. Look, here's here's some examples or on screen. Yeah, you can still download some of those models though if you really want to. <laughs> you can download them and use them in Miku Miku Dance MMD. I used to make them all the time. They're little poke dolls. And yeah, they were horrendous, but <laughs> I made them and it gave me some experience and I've learned how to make 3D models, kind of. But now that I've got Sculptress, it's so much easier. By the way, I'm on a completely different setup now. Back when I was doing those 3D models, I was on a very old computer back from, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably a 2007 kind of model that I was on. Like, <laughs> it was quite old and I was making these models in 2013, so this computer was already quite a few years old and it was running MMD, Google SketchUp, and I did actually get Blender to work on it. it I don't know how, but it managed to run Blender and I made a model in Blender on that old computer. <laughs> I stopped 3D modelling after a while. I, I don't know when exactly I stopped, but I stopped and then I got a laptop, which maybe when the laptop was new it could have done all the modeling stuff, but uh, recently, before I got my new desktop, my laptop was on its way out. I mean, it still works, I hope. I mean, I haven't turned it on in a little while, but, you know, uh, I, I downloaded Minecraft and it, it could barely open it, and um, yeah, if it did manage to load, you could maybe walk one step forwards and then it would crash. It was so slow and it lagged so much, so there was no way I could play Minecraft on that computer. Or, I guess, 3D model. But now with my new desktop, I can model and do things and it doesn't lag and it's good. I will say Sculptress is kind of an old software. It was last updated in 2013, no, 2011 I think it was. Uh, I can't remember exactly, it says on the website, but it is by the people who make ZBrush, which is a professional grade kind of 3D modeling software. So it's pretty good and it's free, so um, this is free. ZBrush is very expensive, <laughs> but Sculptress is free and I love it. It's so much easier to use than all the other programs I've seen. What I look for in a program for animation or 3D modeling in this case, but especially animation. I have not found the perfect animation program yet. I mean, I can use GIMP, but it's not like you can't do keyframes or anything like that. Okay, that's a, that's a different topic altogether. I'm getting sidetracked. What I look for in a 3D modeling program is easy to use <laughs> as my number one thing and also free because I don't want to pay money for software that I'm not going to use very often. I mean, maybe one day if I get super into 3D modeling, I'll just suddenly be like, oh yeah, let's uh, let's get ZBrush. I, I, I doubt I ever will because it's very expensive, but <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm rambling. I don't think I've mentioned what I'm actually sculpting, so I'm making a bat because I like bats. Uh, it's not really to do with the fact that it's October, I just like bats. <laughs> I actually get to see bats flying outside my window almost every night because you know, they just live around here and they fly about at night catching all the little bugs and it's really cute. <laughs> so this model took about 25 minutes to make. It wasn't a huge sculpt or anything. I redid the wings once because like they didn't look good <laughs> so I just redid them. I'm mostly sculpting using the grab tool rather than the draw tool. When I first got Sculptress, I was sculpting using the draw tool, but since I've had some practice, I found that using the grab tool to shape things is much easier and it doesn't get as messy. 
using the draw tool things get very messy very quickly, at least in my experience. So just using the grab tool to pull and push things into shape just kind of keeps things clean, at least I think. <laughs> I don't think I'll do anything with this model, I mean I might. I do have one of my models 3D printed, I sent out to get it 3D printed, I do not own a 3D printer. I mean it would be cool to have one but you know, they're a, a bit expensive. I mean like affordable for a small one but like expensive because I can't justify the cost of it. <laughs> Maybe one day. But you know, I could get this model 3D printed via a company and have it sent to me. But anyway, I have one of my models 3D printed and I would like to sand it down and do a, a silicon mold and cast it in resin. So I might do that eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Well, we'll see. So I used three tools mainly in this, in terms of like sculpting. I mean, I guess I resized the things with the transform tool. But anyway, I did most of my sculpting with the grab tool. I filled in some of the little gaps here and there with the draw tool, and then smoothed it out with the smooth tool. Wow, very um, creative names. <laughs> I guess that's part of what makes it very easy to use is the no weird names. I mean, with most art programs everything's named pretty simply because, you know, what else are you going to call it? <laughs> okay, so now I am out of things to say about this model, I think. It, it's not very detailed, it's just a little bat dude. It's kind of cute. I don't paint him digitally because I haven't really figured out how to do that. I mean, yes, there's the big button that says paint there. I've been there, done that. I might be using it wrong because it, it just didn't go well the other time I tried it. <laughs> anyway, part of the reason I'm doing a 3D model this week is that time reasons. I'm quite busy this week with a huge absolute unit of a commission. Uh, this thing's gonna take a few days, possibly weeks. <laughs> but you know, that's taking a lot of my time. I'm kind of doing a video on it. I may or may not finish the video of it because it's more of a vlog style thing rather than a speed paint just because of the nature of this drawing it is huge I mean full page slightly bigger than A4 and um, lots of detail anyway enough about that here's the finished model there's a little 360 turn for you so I hope you enjoyed this video it's very different from my usual stuff but you know I've got to experiment now and then so yeah, I'm out of things to say. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Links to all of my social medias are in the description. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts quite a lot and it's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one and bye!